We're already a few weeks into the release of Chrome OS 97, and that means we're just a couple weeks away from the release of Chrome OS 98, but that doesn't mean that there aren't a few hidden nuggets in here, just like there always are with every release of the operating system. And so, without any further ado, we want to talk about five hidden features in Chrome OS 97 that you can turn on and start using right now. Okay, so let's hop right in. Obviously, the first thing you're gonna have to do is go in and turn these flags on. So uh, if you navigate to Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags, it's actually gonna open up a new window. It's kind of a new thing that's happening as Chrome OS and uh, Chrome the browser are, are preparing to split. These flags kind of open up in their own things. That's why you're not seeing any kind of URL bar up here at the top. But you will see on the screen here uh, all the flags that I've got turned on. There's a few of these I've got turned on just for the sake of this video, and there's a couple that you need two flags uh, in order to get the the, the uh, feature rolling that we're going to talk about. So that's why you see so many turned on here. But we've got advanced screen capture settings, overview button in the status area, productivity experiments. There's two of those. So the app launcher and the calendar view, disable virtual keyboard is there just because this particular device likes to turn the virtual keyboard on sometimes and we're trying to avoid that for this video uh, and then enable files trash and app launcher animation so we're gonna go through these one at a time but if you want to you can pause the screen at this point and kind of look at those you can search those right there in the flags and flip those on as needed depending on which one of these you would like to give a try so the first hidden feature though isn't actually a flag so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna open up a new window here with Chrome I'm gonna go to Chrome unboxed and once I get to a particular piece of content, uh, we're just going to click into the first article here. There's a new share button right up here. And we've seen this in the works and it's popped in and out in Canary and dev channels, but it does exactly what you'd expect. It's right up there at the top. You click it and the share sheet will come up. And depending on what you have installed, you'll get a share sheet where you can share stuff to. Uh, what's really cool is that's the Twitter PWA. So it knows how to deal with that uh, using a PWA to share that. Um, it'll create a tweet. Um, and then uh, let's see if we go to nearby share, it would pull up any any nearby devices. I haven't set up nearby share on this, but uh, assuming you have any other Android or PWA apps uh, installed and those have sharing options, they'll all show up there in the share sheet. And it's just handy to have it up there. I know you can copy paste from here uh, and it's made the share button not really necessary on uh, desktop browsers, but it is nice to have because we've just become accustomed to where's my share button. And so it's right there at the top now. So the next one we're going to check out is the calendar view in the bottom here. So uh, down here in the system tray, you can actually see it says January. January 24th. It doesn't just say the time here. And I didn't have to turn on the, uh, the other flag that just basically puts the date down here. If you turn on this calendar widget, it does that as well. When you click it, you get your calendar view. At this point in the stable channel, you don't have access to your actual uh, calendar events. So if I click on anything here, it's not showing it yet. Eventually, you're going to have actual calendar events that will show down below here. Uh, so it's a nice feature, especially if Say for instance, you're trying to plan something and you need to know what's that second week in February, you can quickly click in here and see your, you know, see the date light, laid out and know exactly, hey, next 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 Tuesday is, is February 8th or whatever the case may be. It's just a quick access calendar. Eventually it's gonna gain more features, uh, have access to your actual Google calendar and it's gonna be even more helpful. Okay, the next one is kind of a freebie. Uh, I didn't count it in my, in my five uh, hidden features, but it's a fun one. Uh, I think that could be helpful for a lot of people, but you notice down here in the right hand corner, uh, it's the overview button. It matches the key on your keyboard actually, and it does exactly what you'd expect. You click it and you get your overview. Uh, that flag is the enable overview button and it's always on if it's there. And so if you find yourself needing the overview button constantly or you would like it there on your tablet or something like that, enable that flag and you can have that overview button there for quick access. For the next one, we are going to look at the productivity launcher. We talked about this with Chrome OS 96. It's still not technically here in Chrome OS 97, but you can enable the same flag, the productivity app launcher. But what you'll notice now with the app launcher animation flag that we talked about earlier, you get this nice kind of rising animation as it opens. And used to, you clicked it and the whole thing just opened right up. 
but now you click it and everything kind of falls into place upward. I'm gonna do this a couple times just so you can kind of catch it with your eyes. So it fades in and everything kind of slowly drops in uh, uh, vertically from the bottom to the top. It's reminiscent of the Pixel uh, and the Android 12 animations when you kind of over scroll something and everything kind of stretches a little bit. It kind of has that feel to it. It's just a really nice touch. It looks like they're really crafting uh, this launcher to be the launcher that will be on the desktop. I love every bit of this and I'm glad to see just these nice little tweaks. For the next one, we're gonna talk about the Files app and the trash. And so this has been one of those things that has been on again, off again. We've been talking about it for months. Uh, and every time I've tried it, it's always felt a little bit janky. And I hadn't thought about it forever uh, and just happened to go look in Chrome OS 97. The flag is there as it's been, but I turned it on and things just seem to work really well. So I'm gonna take this, uh, this image here that I've downloaded. I'm gonna click trash. We're gonna go over to the trash and it's right there exactly where you'd expect it to be. But now when I click on it, I can, sh I can share it from here. I can open it from here. It says read only, obviously, but there's a dedicated restore from trash button. Boom, click it, it goes right back to where it was. And same thing as if I go here, I can empty trash and it'll clear out all that stuff. You wanna make sure because at this point it's, it's gone, gone. Boom, everything's gone. I really like this. This works exactly like I would expect it to. This is another one of those things that I'm like, I'm not sure why they haven't just turned it on. Uh, it works so well and it looks nice and it functions the way you'd expect it to. So that's one I would turn on and just start using honestly on a day-to-day -day basis. The final feature we're gonna talk about today is uh, a couple enhancements to the screen recorder functionality. So if you hit the key or you know the key combo or whatever on your Chromebook to kind of bring up your screen capture, uh, you'll notice in the settings right here, you have some expanded options now. So you have audio input now. So it's not just microphone on or off, you have microphone off or internal microphone. And if you had something else plugged in, a USB mic, or maybe you had like a webcam, uh, turned on on your, on your Chromebook, so like an external webcam, it would pick up that and you could choose that as your audio source as well. And then you also get the option where you want to save these recordings to. So if I select a folder, I can go and actually choose where I want uh, these recordings to be saved. Not huge uh, bumps in performance here, but these are just little niceties that they keep adding to the screen recorder function to make it, in in my uh, honest opinion, the, the best screen recording that you can get on any OS across the board. But guys, that's about it for the hidden features I've found that I think are really cool, at least right now in Chrome OS 97. Keep in mind, uh, early February, we're gonna be into Chrome OS 98, so it'll be time to start searching through and finding more of these things uh, for that version of the operating system. So we'll keep an eye out for any of those new things, and obviously, keep an eye out for some of these things we've been talking about that are kind of experimental that actually show up in Chrome OS 98. But that is it for this one. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there and hit the subscribe button, and be sure to hit the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.